Released in 1971, Dirty Harry is a tough cop movie set in San Francisco, starring Clint Eastwood. It's not just about catching criminals, it's full of surprising moments. Did you know there are many interesting facts and stories about this film? Keep reading to find out. What's your favorite memory or experience with this movie? Share your thoughts below. Get ready for an exciting journey through San Francisco's streets. Debuting in 1971, Dirty Harry is a tough cop movie set in San Francisco. Starring Clint Eastwood, it's about a detective named Harry who goes after the city's worst criminals using his unconventional methods. As he tracks down a cruel killer called Scorpio, the suspense builds up, leading to an exciting finale atop the city's famous landmarks. San Francisco's setting adds depth to the story, with its misty streets and tall hills becoming as important as Harry himself. The city's unique vibe makes the movie more thrilling and authentic. Besides Harry, important characters include his rule-following bosses who clash with his rebellious ways and Scorpio, whose game of cat and mouse with Harry keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. Dirty Harry isn't just known for its gripping story, but also for its innovative camera work and memorable lines. The movie's influence on action films is undeniable, inspiring many others, and earning it a place in movie history. Dirty Harry, released in 1971, takes inspiration from real-life events, notably the Zodiac Killer case. The character Scorpio, portrayed as a serial killer in the movie, draws loose parallels with the infamous Zodiac Killer, who sent taunting notes to the police and media, even threatening to hijack a school bus. This character was brought to life based on Detective David Toskai, a key figure in the Zodiac case. In the film's climax, there's a pivotal moment where Harry, played by Clint Eastwood, discards his badge after apprehending Scorpio. Initially, Eastwood disagreed with this scene, feeling Harry's character wouldn't abandon his badge. However, director Don Siegel argued that it symbolized Harry's disillusionment with the justice system, ultimately convincing Eastwood. Interestingly, Andrew Robinson, who portrayed Scorpio, later appeared in Star Trek Deep Space Nine alongside Mark Alamo, who had a role in the final Dirty Harry movie, The Deadpool. Dirty Harry's gritty portrayal of law enforcement and its tense narrative captivated audiences, solidifying its place in cinematic history. It's not just a cop movie, it's a gripping exploration of justice and morality in a complex urban landscape. In Dirty Harry, a tough cop movie set in San Francisco, Clint Eastwood plays a determined detective. Throughout the film, he relentlessly pursues Scorpio, a merciless killer terrorizing the city. The tension escalates as the detective's unconventional methods clash with the bureaucracy of his superiors. Notably, in a scene at Kezar Stadium, an Oakland Raiders pendant hints at the city's sports history, adding depth to the setting. Rennie Santoni and Andrew Robinson, key actors in the movie, later reunited for Cobra in 1986. Despite initial disagreements, the climax of the movie sees the detective discarding his badge, symbolizing his disillusionment with the justice system. The movie's influence extends beyond its release, earning it a place in the National Film Registry alongside other memorable films directed by Eastwood. Dirty Harry is not only gripping, but also reflects urban justice and morality. It remains a timeless classic in crime cinema, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In Lalo Skiffern's 1971 movie score for Dirty Harry, his music became iconic, earning a place among the American Film Institute's list of the 250 greatest film scores of all time in 2005. When Harry's badge and police license are shown, his name is simply Harry Callahan, suggesting it's not short for Harold without any middle initial. In a 29 poll by MTV News, Harry Callahan was voted the greatest movie badass of all time, surpassing other cinematic icons like Rambo, Ellen Ripley, and John McClane. Throughout the film, he relentlessly pursues Scorpio, a merciless killer terrorizing the city. The tension escalates as his unconventional methods clash with the bureaucracy of his superiors. Despite initial disagreements, the climax of the movie sees the detective discarding his badge, symbolizing his disillusionment with the justice system. Dirty Harry's gritty portrayal of law enforcement and its tense narrative captivated audiences, solidifying its place in cinematic history. It remains a timeless classic in crime cinema, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Dirty Harry, the gritty cop thriller set in San Francisco, is packed with intriguing details. While tracking down the Scorpio killer, Harry passes a wall tagged with Kyle, a nod to Clint Eastwood's son. 
Andrew Robinson's casting as the Scorpio Killer was intentional, with director Don Siegel seeking a face reminiscent of a choir boy. Script adjustments were made by Dean Reisner, notably toning down an extreme scene where Harry points a gun at himself. Despite initial disagreements, the climax sees Harry discard his badge, symbolizing his disillusionment with the justice system. Lalo Skiffrin's score and the absence of a middle initial in Harry's name add depth to the film's character. The tension between Harry's methods and bureaucratic superiors adds layers to the narrative, making Dirty Harry a timeless classic in crime cinema. Initially, critics had reservations about the film due to its portrayal of police brutality. Clint Eastwood, known for his roles in various films, including the Leon Trilogy and Any Which Way movies, played the character of Dirty Harry, a tough detective. After the movie's release, Andrew Robinson, who portrayed the antagonist, faced serious threats, leading him to change his phone number. Despite initial controversies, Dirty Harry remains a significant piece in cinematic history, inspiring many action films that followed. The film's impact extends beyond its release, earning recognition for its gritty portrayal of law enforcement and its exploration of justice and morality in an urban setting. Lalo Skiffrin's score, Clint Eastwood's portrayal, and the tense narrative make Dirty Harry a timeless classic. The movie Dirty Harry, a famous cop thriller set in San Francisco, still connects with people all around the world. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Robert Urich say that the character Harry Callahan had a big impact on their careers. Schwarzenegger liked the action and tough guy attitude of the movie, so he pursued similar roles. Urich, inspired by Clint Eastwood's performance as Harry, added some of those qualities to his character in the TV show Vegas. The line, do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? from the movie is really famous and is considered one of the best movie quotes ever. Rita M. Fink's creation of Harry Callahan made the character really famous in detective movies. Dirty Harry is a classic that shows tough cops and talks about justice in a real way, inspiring lots of film landrakers and leaving a lasting impression on crime movies. Kenneth Williams, a regular actor in Carry On movies, really liked the film and wrote a lot about it in his diaries. At first, the rights to the movie were sold to ABC Television because they were having trouble finding someone to play the role of Callahan. But ABC thought the script was too violent for TV, so Warner Brothers ended up buying the rights. Even in the 60s, a park like the one in the movie would have been heavily guarded, so it's unlikely an officer would be put in that much danger. Dirty Harry had a big effect beyond when it first came out. It influenced actors like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Robert Urich in what roles they chose. The famous line, do I feel lucky, well, do you, punk, is remembered by many people. The character Harry Callahan, created by Rita M. Fink, became really famous in detective movies. The movie's tough portrayal of law enforcement and exploration of justice connect with audiences all over the world, inspiring lots of film line and leaving a strong impression on crime movies.